My name is Natalie and I've been going to fellowship for four years. I'm from Memphis. Um, I have a son named Sammy, he's eight. And I guess my story is I have always wanted to be a teacher. And last year, well not last year, but the year before I got my first full-time job teaching and I knew when I first started teaching that I was going not going to be paid that next summer. Um, and I should have started saving right off the bat, but due to just life circumstances and being a single mom and sin and unmanageability in my own life, I did not do a very good job saving at all. But I was like, well, I can get unemployment because my contract will officially end. And so I applied for unemployment and a week came along and two weeks came along and a month came along and I still haven't gotten it. And thank God I have two parents and I asked them and they paid for one month of my rent so I just kept praying that my unemployment was going to come through but it didn't and I think the Lord really used that time to really humble me because I thought I had it all together and that I could do everything on my own and my own strength and I didn't listen to advice and so I didn't have anywhere to turn and I had a lot of shame around it and I didn't want to go to the church even though I could I was scared I would be questioned like why don't you have any money what's happened and it was a perfect picture of grace because they didn't ask me what happened they didn't ask what's wrong why don't you have the money they I literally went in Damien's office who was the financial person at the time he's like what do you need how much do we need to give you and he cut me a check that day and just reflecting on it I used to be really judgmental about people that like homeless people or people that got put out of their house or friends that I've had that didn't have a way to have a place to live or to provide for themselves and you know I'd be like well what is wrong with them why can't they do it and I just see now how easy it is to be homeless or to not have what you need to not have a car because if it wasn't for God's grace and for the way he supported me with God's community and with my church and the church body I would have been in that same situation and it's such a blessing that I have those things and that God's blessed me with those because I don't deserve it at all. Like, I deserve to be homeless or be out on the street or not have anything that I need, but it's a perfect picture of the gospel because instead of getting what I deserved, God gave me love and support and it really was a life-changing event in my life, even though I didn't see it at the time. But I'm just so grateful for fellowship and the way that it's supporting me on my Christian walk I've been going for the past four years since I first got saved and it's been just an incredible journey and I'm very thankful.